Hey everyone, coming at you from Japan. Today we're looking at the Sig Sauer M17 pistol, which was recently chosen by the US Army to replace the M9 service pistol. It has the official markings on it and even a registration number, but it was manufactured by VFC, which I didn't know at the time. And uh, it's my first VFC gun. So we'll find out if it's uh, worth the extra price I had to pay for it. Here it is, and it's glorious. The first thing I'll say about the gun is that it has a full metal slide, which is different from other Tokyo Mari guns, which all have plastic slides. So when you pull it back, you can actually feel and hear the difference. Let's take a closer look at this beast of a handgun. The M17 was a bit expensive, coming in at around 20,000 yen. But uh, I think it's worth it because of the high build quality and uh, it is a blast to shoot. Speaking of which, let's take it out to the range. I'm using 0.2 gram BBs and it fires at around 290 FPS, which is pretty normal for the low power regulations in Japan. Overall, I'm quite impressed with the Sig Sauer M17. Uh, a few things I want to mention uh, with the uh, extended mags is that when you load the gun, you have to make sure the mags uh, sit all the way into the mag well so it doesn't uh, fall out. I think this is just me uh, getting used to uh, using the extended mags. And also the hop up is in the front of the gun. So you have to use a tool which is included in the box. Uh, to adjust the hop up and you could do it uh, with just your hands, but it's a little bit hard to do uh, I think it would be Recommended to do it with the uh, with gloves on I got to use the m17 for some airsoft games and it handles great uh, It's accurate up to 25 to 30 meters I'm glad I picked it up and uh, I hope to use it more in the future Thanks for watching this review of the Sig Sauer M17 uh, handgun and uh, on to the next one.